Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome back to my channel and this edition unboxing a beautiful new Parisian handbag. Now this brand is called Pelen Paris. You might have heard of them on Instagram and perhaps on some other social media. Now though the brand is fiercely independent and wish to remain so, they do actually come from a fashion background. And the other really nice thing is the brand was created by two brothers and one sister. So very much a family affair, which just kind of adds to the appeal for me as well. So I have been itching to open this box. <laughs> I've been so good. I've had it on my sideboard for a few days, waiting until I could turn the camera on to open it with you and give you my honest opinion and review of the handbag. But I can't wait anymore. So I had real trouble deciding which handbag to go for because when you look on the collection, you'll see they're all beautiful. It was really difficult to decide. But in the end, I chose one called Numero Set or number seven. Um, I'll explain why as I talk through the handbag. But the bag was so popular, it was out of stock for ages and it's finally just come back in stock in the camel and in the gray. But I do think all the best things are worth waiting for. So beautiful gift box, pretty little card. If you've seen the brand on Instagram, you'll know as well that they've got really stunning photography and it really captures the essence of what the brand is. So do have a look at that as well. I love how it's beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. I never understand why certain brands don't make the effort with their packaging. There's one really famous big brand who literally sends the clothes in the plastic bag it must have arrived from China in. It's just criminal. As a brand, you don't have to spend a fortune. You can absolutely be sustainable with your packaging, but I think just making an effort makes such a difference. There, oh, I can see it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sorry, dust bag, I'm gonna have to come back to you because that is just beautiful. <gasps> Would you look at that? I'm definitely a handbag girl. It's, I think handbags and shoes just kind of get me in my soul, I love it. Okay, first impressions, I absolutely love it. The color is just perfect. That just screams quality for me. Even just the stitching detail around the front, you can just see the craftsmanship straight away. It looks even nicer than I thought it would. Now, I decided to go with the light camel version rather than the dark one, because looking at my wardrobe, I thought it would be the most versatile for me. It was gonna work well with lots of the outfits I've already got. Saying that, it does come available in lots of different colors. So the light camel and the gray are both now back in stock after being sold out for ages. There's a black, there's a Bordeaux, which is like a deep burgundy color. It's really lovely actually. And the dark camel. They're all equally gorgeous. This one I thought just matches more in my wardrobe so I can use it more. Do let me know in the comments section actually, would you have gone for the two-toned camel or maybe the plain camel or maybe one of the other colors you might prefer as well? It's really interesting hearing everyone's different opinions and why you would go for a certain color. So let me open it. Stop waffling. I don't know how to open it. Oh, just like that. Very simple. Making it look harder than it is. Ooh. Well, that's actually a lot bigger than you would think it is. Definitely enough room to get my purse, my camera, my sunglasses, and a few bits of random bits and bobs that always seem to go from handbag to handbag. The lining in here is suede, which again, just adds to the quality and the overall feel. And then you've just got the little logo imprinted at the back there. That is beautiful. I really like how with independent brands like this, they tend to be really almost OCD about all the little details. And that is what makes a beautiful piece for me. It's about the attention to detail, the little things that you think you wouldn't even notice, but someone like me with a BDI always does. So the fact that this is a slightly different tone of camel on the top section to the bottom, so you've got a very slight different color stitching on the top section to the bottom. And even here on the side section, they've added the stitching strap all the way down the side and underneath as well. And that's what I love about independent brands. They tend to go 10 steps further than say a high street brand would. So as you can see, a very chilled out, very me everyday kind of outfit. I've just popped my gray blazer over the top, which I wear an awful lot. I've got a cashmere sweater on, my straight jeans and my ankle boots. But just by adding a really structured, beautiful handbag to a very simple everyday outfit, suddenly elevates the whole look completely and makes me feel overall more chic and more put together. 
Um, I absolutely love it. Definitely going to be using that on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it really works, it suits my style, and tone-wise, I think it's gonna go with an awful lot. Let me just show you quickly what it looks like crossbody as well. So that really works as well, actually. Just having it crossbody, I've just adjusted the strap and put it on the loosest one, so it sits a little bit lower on my hip. But I think if I'm in town and on and off the tube, that's probably how I would wear it. So I try holding it with the little handle as well. Actually, I quite like it like that. I kind of mocked it in the beginning as feeling a bit daft holding it with the little handle, but I actually think it looks chic like that as well. One handbag, so many different ways to use it. Now, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love things understated. Um, I'm not one for flashy logos whatsoever. In fact, I really don't like handbags that are emblazoned with logos. I think it ends up making it look cheap when it's probably not. You've probably spent a fortune on it. So for me, the more simple, the better it is. So the fact that the logo writing Polen here is so tiny, you almost have to squint to see it, is just absolutely perfect. It's understated, it's chic, it's elegant. It doesn't need logos all over it. The bag and the quality just speak for itself. It's a very structured bag. Just looking at the side detail here, this isn't ever going to slouch. That's probably going to stay perfectly in place if I was showing you this handbag in 10 years time. And I don't know if you saw one of my videos, how to look expensive and chic and elevate your wardrobe without spending a fortune. One of the tricks I talked about in there was buying a structured handbag. It doesn't have to be this one, it could be any handbag. But when you buy a handbag that's a little bit more structured and stiff and it's going to keep that shape that it's got in the first instance, they tend to look more expensive as a result and then it's down to whatever color you go for so although this bag wasn't cheap i do think it looks a lot more expensive than it actually was so all the hardware is gold plated you've got the logo just on the inside of the strap which i think is again a really nice touch i don't know if that's a different tone or if that's the light in my bedroom but it looks a very slightly different tone now the collection's designed in france i believe they do have a store in paris but the bags are actually made in Spain in a city called Aubrique. Now, if you've not heard of that before, and apologies for the pronunciation, they are hugely famous for their craftsmanship, particularly of handbags. So it's probably the perfect place to have their collection manufactured. And you, as the customer, know you're getting a quality piece. And you can absolutely see that, feel that, smell that even, just opening the bag for the first time. So yes, to summarize, I think it is an absolutely perfect handbag. Um, I just think it's beautiful. It'd be really interesting to hear your thoughts, actually, which of the handbags you prefer from their collection. There's obviously numbers one to seven, and some of the handbags are available as minis as well. I will be back on Sunday with a very exciting fashion video for you, so make sure you don't miss that. And also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, that would be lovely too. I'll see you on Sunday. Take care.